That's the way to the arbitrary sign. Let's hit the road then. When Sir Shaw said the linguistic sign was arbitrary, he was talking about the relationship between the signifier and signified. That's right, Rev. He said that they were related in an arbitrary way. Do you mean that they just meet up randomly and join together? No, Rev. Do you mean that the choice of the signifier is just left to the speaker? Sir Shaw said it wasn't, and that makes sense. It would be difficult to have a conversation with someone if they didn't understand what you meant by the word you used. Yes, I know. I've had some very strange text messages lately. They're not strange. You just don't know what they mean, but other people do. People can't just make up a random set of letters in a text message if they want to have a conversation with the other person. Could you imagine the confusion if PP sent a TXT MSG with any odd letters? Not in a million years, Lid. SCNR. So, what does Sir Shaw think arbitrary means? He said that it means unmotivated. Are you sure that you read that right? Two motivated things would have more chance of getting together than two unmotivated things. That's what I thought, but Sir Shaw has a different understanding. If he thinks that they get together when being unmotivated, we need to find out what he means by motivated so we can eliminate it. According to the KPF, motivated means that there is a natural connection or intrinsic reason why a particular sound image should be linked to a particular concept. So, unmotivated would mean that there is no natural connection. Yes, Rev. The sound image dog does not look like or sound like a dog. There's no real reason why the sound image dog has to be linked to the concept of a dog. The two just got stuck together at some point in time. That's right, Lid. The sound image dog does not embody dogness. So, arbitrary, which Sashaw called unmotivated, means that there are no characteristics of a signified that makes it suit a particular signifier. And vice versa. That's right, Rev. There are no characteristics of a signifier that makes it suit a particular signified. So, how come everyone uses the same combination? According to the KPF, it has something to do with the immutability of the sign. Let's go to the immutable sign now to find out more. <laughs> 